Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday's edition of the vlog. Now I've got a bit of a review for this sort of vlog as well as a couple of things that I want to run by you all and see what your take is on the supplies part of my business. So a lot of it will be a bit of a what, what sort of products are you looking for when you own a reptile? Do you go through a lot of heat lamps? Do you go through UV globes? Do you need more heat cords? Do you need housing? All that sort of stuff. So what I'm doing is a little bit of a survey to see what people need around the area that I'm in and of course everywhere else around Australia and I will go from there. I want to do some of my own products but of course I'll have eco rep stuff so they're ceramic globes, their UVB from their 5.0 up to their 15.0 and a few other little things like hatching tubs and all that other sort of stuff but I might even be working in conjunction with Reptile Cribs as well, who's a really, really good friend and sponsor of CBTV and myself. And hopefully we'll be able to work a couple of things out together and do like package deals maybe or something along those lines. But anyway, let's get stuck into it with this review first. And I'm really excited about this sort of review, so we'll get straight into it. So the review that I wanted to talk about today is Crikey, it's the Irwins. Now, a lot of people have done reviews before and a lot of people have followed the Irwins for a very long time and I myself have been to Australia Zoo a fair few times and obviously followed um, Steve's work when I was little um, which sort of sparked a bit of a passion for wildlife and all that sort of uh, industry knowledge and awareness for wildlife so it was good to see that they're finally getting back into something and pushing uh, their wildlife aspect into it again. So with Animal Planet, they've sort of dropped down in their views and their content has been quite, uh, not, not so much negative, but not as great as it should be for conservation. And having the Irwins here again and showcasing what they are still doing, they're still here. They're just not obviously pushing it out there as much as what Steve used to. And it's been a very, very long time since Steve passed and we've sort of been missing that that oomph in the in the conservation aspect so it's good to see that they're pushing it back out again and Robert taking on the task of filling in the shoes will be interesting as you know as a lot of people know Steve was very uh, into it very very charismatic and just out there with what he had to say he was very passionate in his words everything that he said was just with enthusiasm and and right in your face and you want to be in the camera you want to showcase what the animal's about, tell a bit of knowledge about it, and then that's how you educate people. So hopefully they can get that aspect into it, which will be good. The first few were just sort of an introduction into what they're doing, a couple of the keepers that they have there and stuff like that. So it's been, it's been a very good, I've watched the first two episodes only, so it'll be good to see how it goes, and hopefully it opens the door for more people even like myself, that I want to do a documentary series. So hopefully I can take a few things in because I sort of break down a lot of the documentaries I see. So it'll be good to take in what they've done as it's a wildlife documentary series. And hopefully I can implement some of that into my own series and see if I can help push education out as much as possible. So it's definitely worth a watch and I'll continue watching to see how it all progresses and hopefully it's really really good for the industry and it sort of wakes up Nat Geo and, and More Planet and all, all that to showcase more positive film clips and episodes and all that to promote wildlife instead of having that dangerous title at the top and then having a cute and fluffy animal so it's more misleading titles to drag people in so hopefully we can get away from that and just drag people in with the fact that the content is going to be amazing so there's my little review of crikey it's the Irwins. so last but not least i wanted to do this quick little survey about the products that i'm going to be pushing out into the industry and obviously supporting ironbark with their eco rep wholesale business and going on a bit of a venture and getting my own products in with my own label. So things that I'm looking at at the moment are going to be your yeah, ceramic globes, your yeah, UV globes, your light cage fittings like I have in these enclosures, and then hatchy tubs, feeding tongs, all the sort of necessities that you need when keeping reptiles. And of course I'm looking at doing a bit of live food as well, and even looking into stocking in 
invertebrates as well. So I'll have things from James Bindoff hopefully would be um, would be a really really good thing to have because he is a great guy very knowledgeable um, so hopefully I can have a conversation with him and start supplying as a, a retailer I guess as for, for James and because he does breed very very top quality stuff and it'll be perfect for the industry get the uh, reptiles and the inverts together push them all out in the one business but as always, let me know down in the comments if you have anything that you'd like for me to, to stock in or look at getting, um, maybe even substrate and stuff like that. I'm looking at doing maybe some packaging for my own bedding. Um, obviously, that's a few things that I've got to look at and how I'm going to package things, how it's going to all work, but it's definitely worth it. Um, I've got to make sure that I get the right packaging and how I do it, I'm not sure at this stage. so. It's slowly, slowly tick, double ticking along and I want to make sure that it's done right and that I can provide a really good product and service for everybody in the buyer's office. So there's the website to do, there's products to do, there's labeling, there's packaging, there's pricing to make sure it's a fair bit. You know, we, when we want to make money, we don't want to break even um, or lose money. Uh, that'd be the worst thing possible. So we'll definitely be going in that direction very, very soon, and a few other little products and ventures that we're going on. So all upstairs is tick, 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 as always, and all these ventures that I want to go on, documentaries, and a few other really cool pro projects that I'm waiting a little bit longer to sort of push out there and, and let everybody know about. But it would be good in a sense, because when I do release it, it'll be a bit better for everyone instead of waiting, if you, if, if you like. Um, but CBTV, Calendars is definitely in the works. I've got to find a calendar wholesaler and send all the pictures in and get the okay and then we'll start doing that as a, uh, maybe even a Christmas thing or after Christmas and sort of raise a bit more money in that sense to fund projects like Devil's Ark, Aussie Ark, stuff like that that actually have the foundation there and they just need the cash flow. So hopefully we can help in that aspect, which is the ultimate goal is helping conservation and that's what I've been all, always about and always will be about so keep an eye out for all those sort of projects. With that said I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be filming the last episode of CBTV Reptiles on the Rise which is with Maddie Wyatt from Reptile Cribs so there's a few other episodes to go until we get to there I think there's about three or four and obviously then we'll do a blooper reel. So it'll be really, really cool to see that series finish and be a whole, which will be about eight episodes, including the bloopers. So it was a good little project and I'm hoping that I can stem from that and grow and maybe do mammals and sea life and all that sort of stuff. But there's all these other little projects that I need to get going. So with that said, I better get back onto that computer like always. And again, have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on Monday.